Uh, I wanted to talk about injectable agents. So I mentioned these at the beginning. Uh, the big study, as I've, as I've said already, was a study called SWORD that looked at uh, people who were already undetectable uh, and gave them injections of an integrase inhibitor uh, uh, and, um, uh, called cabotegravir and a non-nucleoside called rilpivirine. So cabotegravir being very similar to dolutegravir, uh, but injectable. So the SWORD study has already shown that um, injectable therapy is as good at keeping you undetectable if you're already undetectable. What was presented um, uh, in Paris was some further safety data uh, around injectable therapy, and this really related to, to bone health. So it was really about osteoporosis. Now, they only looked at, um, at patients at 48 weeks after they'd switched to the injectable treatment, uh, and what they showed was that your bone density at the hip on bone density scanning improved significantly if you were switched to the uh, dual therapy injectable regimen. Now, that again sounds really promising until you remember that actually uh, a lot of the people who switched onto the injectable treatment were already on tenofovir. And tenofovir, we know, can reduce your bone density a little bit. It doesn't necessarily make you more at risk of fractures, uh, but we do know it can reduce your bone density according to scanning. So we don't really know if this switch was safe because the new drugs are particularly safe or whether it's just because you stopped being on tenofovir. So again, uh, we have to interpret this data with some caution.